Welcome! In this video, we're going to learn how to solve elapsed time word problems with multiple time intervals. To measure elapsed time, we are going to use a number line. Our number lines for elapsed time will count by intervals of 1 hour, 10 minutes, and 1 minute. In our last video, we learned to record an hour as a big pointy mountain, and 10 minutes as a medium-sized hill, and 1 minute as a small rock. Let's start practicing with this story problem. Kendall went to the mall at 3.05. First, she shopped at the shoe store for 20 minutes. Then, she shopped at the candle store for 5 minutes. Finally, she shopped at the bookstore for 12 minutes. What time did Kendall finish shopping? Before I begin solving, I'm going to make sure that all the important information stands out. You can do this by underlining highlighting, or circling. I'm going to do highlighting. I'm going to highlight all of the important times in my word problem. The first important piece of information I notice is the start time, 3.05. Then, as I read the problem again, I see all the things that happen in the story. 20 minutes of shopping, 5 minutes of shopping, and 12 minutes of shopping. Now I can start solving on a number line. First, I need to label the start time on the left side. Next, I will add the time intervals from the story. Now I'm ready to start adding up the times from the story. First, I'll add two groups of 10 to 305, and first get to 315, then 325. Then I'll add on five minutes to get to 330. Finally, I can add 12 as one group of 10 and get to 340, and two ones to get to 342. 342 is my ending time. We solved the problem. We added up all the time intervals and now know that Kendall finished shopping at 342. In this video, we learned how to solve elapsed time word problems with multiple time intervals. Thanks for watching.